Hi, welcome to a video of my flea market finds for Sunday, July 9th, 2023. So I didn't find that many items, but found a few. Short video. So a guy was selling CDs at 50 cents and I wasn't sure if I... I don't think I have... I don't have... I'm looking for this album on vinyl. Because my favorite Dewey Brothers song is on it, which is What a Fool Believes. A wonderful childhood memory for me. I played a lot on the radio, but I realized I, I, I probably don't have that album on CD either, so I bought it for 50 cents. Don't you hate it when you have a case with a, a sticker on it that goes with it, but the, the case is broken, so if you replace the, the cracked case, you lose the sticker? I hate that. I'll have to leave it there. Uh, then a, a, a man, ha a family had... Uh, was taking time unloading their stuff. I had the, the, the common sense to ask them if they had records. They said yes, but it was in the trailer. It took a while for them to get to them. So I, f I was the first one to, to look at them. Uh, the box was about, I'd say, uh, about two and a half feet long, I'd say, of vinyl records. And I picked out seven, plus this. Uh, Pierre Lalonde poster that came in one of his albums in the 60s. So I know I have at least one copy that doesn't have the, um, the photo, so I picked it up. The seven albums were the best that could happen, Santo and Johnny. I haven't checked any of these on the turntable yet. I haven't checked anything about this year on the turntable yet. <laughs> um, it's in great shape. Is it a U.S. pressing, I think? Yeah, it's a U.S. pressing. I can always tell by their crappy cardboard quality. Ca Canada had better record covers. This I bought because I think I love the cover. It's so fun. Raymond Devos, Au Théâtre des Variétés. This came out on, uh, I think it's EMI in France, but it was on Select in Canada. Select. And, um, yep. Yeah. I promised myself I wouldn't buy any more uh, comedy records of the 60s, but I couldn't resist. I love the cover. This I used to see in the 80s, perhaps 90s, at uh, uh, some used record stores in Montreal. And it was never cheap, so I thought it was good. It was Les Belaires Joue Les Belaires. And it says in the back, Musique Instrumentale. So I said, oh, this is so cool. So that's they, they 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 took the master tapes. They they lowered the the, the tracks, uh, the voice tracks. So it's all the instrumental. Oh, I I, I want to hear Cupidon, which is little arrows in uh, in but covered in French. But this this would be the instrument instrumental. Same with Marchand à la Pen, which is Walking in the Sunshine. They're two big, biggest hits. Well, no, it's not them. I don't think it's them because it's really crappy. It's like a uh, completely re-recorded and instrumental crappy versions of their hits. I was really disappointed. But it was a buck. Compilation of the 60s of French Canadian bands. I got it because uh, it has some rare stuff like uh, M2 plus AC here, Monsieur Martin. Uh, Les Rivatis is not too common either. And <laughs> Jolie Rita is actually lovely Rita by the Beatles covered in French by Les Mercedes. Anyway. Then I got this, the Crusaders Street Life. Not bad. I've checked uh, I've checked on YouTube what it sounded like, but it's kind of music uh, I was expecting. This is a little bit better. Callion all the way. I, I didn't find the whole album on, on YouTube, but I, I found Hot Tea, which I, sounds really good. And uh, I think the other, sound, the other song I sampled on YouTube was uh, Just Let Me Love You. One more time. This is the band. So if I had a crappy uh, out of focusness, it's just a crappy camera. I have a phone, but if I use the f a, a phone that's not even connected on the internet. Uh, uh, but making videos with my phone... Uh, it's sideways, upside down, I can't, I, it's a pain in the butt. At least there's a cheap camera I'm holding, is a Kodak Easy Share CD80. And at least I know that it's going to be upwards, like it won't be sideways or upside down. This is the find of the day. L'ouverture du paradis, Claude Péloquin, which is sort of like Prague rock 
French Canadian prog rock of the 70s. This goes for, depends on the price, but the last two copies in the last two years sold between 19 bucks and 43 bucks on Discogs, I think. About for a dollar, and it's pretty cool. It came in uh, blue, nice blue vinyl. It's in great shape, not a scratch. Haven't played it yet. It's not on YouTube, so I don't know yet uh, how it sounds like. He, he made some, Copit I came, made some weird records in the 70s. And I forgot to check what's inside. Oh, just lyrics, I guess. Yeah, lyrics. So that was seven bucks. Actually, the records were two bucks each. I said, no, no, no if I, because I offered seven bucks for seven records. She wanted, she said, oh, I wanted to, to sell them for two bucks. And so I looked at them, and I'm not lying. I wasn't bluffing. I looked at them and said, no, no sorry, yes. I just put them back. I said, there's not one of them I, don't, I want to pay two bucks for. They're dollar records. So I didn't know, by the way, that this was worth more. Um, and uh, oh, okay, it's okay. Oh yeah, uh, it was a couple. The husband said, "Sure, go ahead, seven bucks." So I thought I paid seven bucks. So <laughs> that's part of the game. And then at another table, let me see. Oh no, at the same table, got some CDs at a dollar each. I got this one, Jean Guimarou, the Felix at Desjardins. Jean Guimarou was a famous uh, French Canadian Im uh, impersonator. So apparently, this is a, a show he did in the. Is it 1995? That's pretty late. I didn't know he made any CDs. But I have several vinyl records by him. And uh, the last item is... Oh, I forgot to bring it. It's something practical uh, for two bucks. It's not interesting. So um, there we go. So thanks for watching.